Hello students, welcome to your second PUC biology practical session. In today's session, we will be learning about gametogenesis. So, gametogenesis means formation of gametes. In human beings, if you see, there are different organs which produces these gametes. The organs will be in case of male, it will be the testes and in case of female, that will be the ovary. So, testes undergoes meiosis to produce a haploid set of gamete which we call sperms. Whereas, female ovary which undergoes meiosis to produce a haploid gamete called ova or egg. So, we will be studying here about transverse section of mammalian testes. On the screen what you can see is the TS of mammalian testes. There are a pair of testes with testicular lobules containing seminiferous tubules lined with germinal epithelium. The germinal epithelium consists of spermatogonia and Sertoli cells. Spermatogonias alternatively have the Sertoli cells. These spermatogonias undergo spermatogenesis that is it helps in production of sperms whereas the Sertoli cells provides the nourishment for the developing sperms. A connective tissue called stroma contains Leydig cells which secrete the hormone called testosterone. So that is about the TS of mammalian testes. TS of mammalian testes, it has germinal epithelium which have internally placed cells called spermatogonia. Each spermatogonia undergoes spermatogenesis and helps in production of the sperms which have Sertoli cells which help in nourishing this developing sperms. They also have Leydig cells which produces male hormones called testosterone. Next one we will have to study about the transfer section of mammalian ovary. On the screen what you can see is the transfer section of mammalian ovary. The ovary is covered with a germinal epithelium. Cortex contains follicles which develop into different staged follicle and finally form a there on the screen you can see a larger structure that is the matured graphene follicle. This graphene follicle have a secondary oocyte which is covered with a fluid filled cavity called antrum. This oocyte is released during ovulation that is on the 14th day of the menstrual cycle. The ruptured graphene follicle develop to corpus luteum and then degenerate to corpus albicans. So that is about mammalian that is TS of mammalian ovary. TS of mammalian ovary develops follicles from the germinal epithelium which passes into primary, secondary, tertiary and finally reaches a mature follicle called graphene follicle. This graphene follicle contains the secondary oocyte which is covered with the fluid filled cavity called antrum. This ruptures and release the ovum during the 14th day of the menstrual cycle and that is what is called ovulation. Once the ovum is released out, the Graphene follicle gets converted into corpus luteum and gets degenerated in the form of corpus albicans. That is all in this session. Today's session we have learnt about TS of mammalian testes as well as TS of mammalian ovary. Thank you. Hello students. Welcome to your second PUC NCRT biology practical session. Today in this session we will be studying about female gametophyte development. On the screen what you can see is the structure of a VS of a ovule which is also called megasporangium. In this megasporangium what you can see here is 
a ovary showing the ovule now ovary develops into a fruit and ovule develops into seed this ovule is present within the ovary which is attached to placenta with the help of a stalk and that stalk is called funicle so illi ee diagram alli neevu ondu ovary structure anna nortta idira adru olagade ovule ide ee ovary develop aagta fruit agutte ovule develop aagta seed agutte ಈ ಓವರಿ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಜೊತೆ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಈ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಅನ್ನು ಫ್ಯುನಿಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಓವ್ಯೂಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಇಂಟೆಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನ್ಯೂಸೆಲ್ಲಸ್ ಓವ್ಯೂಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಇಂಟೆಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನ್ಯೂಸೆಲ್ಲಸ್ ಈ ನ್ಯೂಸೆಲ್ಲಸ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ನರಿಷಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡೆವಲಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಓವ್ಯೂಲ್ ನ್ಯೂಸೆಲ್ಲಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಂಟೇನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ಫುಡ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ಗೆಮಿಟೋಫೈಟ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ಗೆಮಿಟೋಫೈಟ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಮ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಅ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ಗೆಮಿಟೋಫೈಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂ ಸೆಲಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ is the series of diagrams showing the development of or the stages of development of this embryo sac into a megaspore mother cell so here you can see the two celled as well as four celled stage and finally in the embryo sac they will be having eight nucleus where at the chalazal end and micropylar end there will be three of them and in the center there will be two of them the chalazal end contains of three celled stage or three nucleated stage that cells are termed antipodal cells and in the center it contains of polar nuclei and in the lower region it consists of a two different types of cells two are synergids which helps to take in the pollen tube with the n number of male nucleus and one egg cell with n number of haploid nucleus so this are the different stages which are involved in this female gametophyte so in this session we did discuss about the vs of ovule or megasporangium dealing with the different stages of female gametophyte development that's all in this session thank you hello students welcome to your second puc biology practical session in today's session we'll be learning about vs of blastula or blastula in case of mammals in this diagram what you can see which is shared on the screen is the typical vs of mammalian blastula here the individual cells are called blastocyst these blastocysts are covered with trophoblast this trophoblast have a outer covering called zona pellucida and here the blastula is divided into two different region one is the inner muscles and inner to inner muscles there are empty fluid filled cavity called blasto c this trophoblast helps in implantation whereas the inner mass of cells which helps in formation of a embryo proper as i've already told you the trophoblast is covered with the zona pellucida you can see in the diagram that there are some inner mass of cells which are covered with the region of trophoblast these are called cells of rubers that is about the vs of blastula in case of mammals so a vs of blastula includes individual cells called blastocyst it is covered with the structure called trophoblast and outer to trophoblast is the zona pellucida inside the blastula you can see two sets or two regions one will be the inner mass another will be the fluid filled cavity called blasto c the trophoblast helps in implantation whereas the inner mass helps to form the embryo proper the region where the trophoblast is covering the inner mass that is called cells of rubers that's all in this session thank you